Good morning. It's Sunday morning. It's time to worship the Lord. It's time to come together and celebrate Jesus. The word I want to share with you and encourage you this morning comes from Galatians chapter 6 and from verse 7. The Bible says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap also. Now, today, you might say to me, but Derek, my life is good, I'm happy, I'm blessed, I've got all the things I need. And that might be true, and I'm so happy for you. But I want to encourage you today, God is our Heavenly Father who loved us, created us, and made us for His purpose to worship Him. God is the same principle as tithing. God says, give me the first fruit, and you can keep the rest. Today is the Lord's Day. It's Sunday. It's the day we proclaim to be the Lord's Day. I'm not going to get into the religious debate whether it should be a Saturday, the Sabbath, or Sunday. Let's just declare that there's one day for the Lord. And I want to say to you this morning, I know your life's great. I know you've got so much to do and you work so hard during the day. But I want to say to you today, this is the day that we need to go into the house of the Lord. We need to go to the place where God has called us. And we need to go worship God. Your life's great right now, and I thank God for that, and I praise God for that. But I want to say to you, you need to be in the family of God. You need to be in the place where we celebrate together the goodness, the love of God, the purpose of Christ Jesus. If you're not in a fellowship, if you're not in a congregation that you feel part of, or you feel loved and cared for, then go and find one that you do. Don't stay away from church. Don't stay away from the family of God that want to love you, care for you, and bless you, and provide for you. Don't be a Lone Ranger. Don't stay out of church because you're hurt and bitter. Don't stay out of church because you're offended. But similarly, don't stay out of church because your life's so great, you don't think you need Jesus. One of our politicians in South Africa just over this week made a stupid statement. A statement that says, you know, I can do something better than Jesus did. Folks, there's nobody better than Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. I can tell you things can change in an instant. Things can change in a heartbeat. Let's have our grounding and our foundation this morning on God. Don't be too busy that you forget God. Don't be too busy that you neglect the fellowship of the believers. The Bible says that's not good. And so I want to encourage you today, whatever you're doing, I want you to listen to this podcast. And I ask you and encourage you to get up, get dressed, and go to the house of the Lord. Go and fellowship, go and worship, go and serve God. Because your life depends on it. God bless you.